Hello everyone, today's video is another look at another Games Workshop game called Warrior Knights, which according to this is the epic game of power and politics. So I can't comment because I can't remember. <laughs> yes, oh dear, yes, another one of my Games Workshop collection of board games. So as you can tell, I do collect the early Games Workshop board games which some of them are good some of them well i'm indifferent to but i don't have a problem playing any game any game's a good game it's only those who are i guess like people who like to drink wine yes and i'll leave it at that so let's go have a look at what's sitting in this box Right, hello and welcome to my review or look at my copy of Warrior Knights, the epic game of power and politics. Well, this game has been knocking around on my shelf since 1985 and uh, I can't say that I can recall ever playing this game. And so consequently, all I'm going to do is show you it. And uh, yeah, you can probably tell that uh, I think due to the fact that it hasn't come out of the shelf very often, that it's the patina of, uh, of age is sadly showing. Certainly the rule book, yeah, the rule book's not too bad. And uh, it's still in fairly good nick. There's not too much in the way of aging, although the book does look like it has been read, so I'd say, yeah, the fact that it's got a few grease stains and that on it looks like it has somebody's obviously either borrowed it, and uh, we've or we've attempted to play it. I can't say which is which, but uh, it certainly can do with a bit of a, a scrub over the top. But that's the rule book. The whole heaven knows how many pages. Good old G Dub, I don't think, like to uh, number their pages. But yeah, so that's the rule book. Um, what can I say, people? Never, ever, ever use rubber bands on your uh, on your cards to hold them together. Uh, and as you can see, the aging's occurred on the outermost card, but the innermost cards are are fairly, fairly clean and pristine. So I'm going to have to, I think, try and find some card sleeves for these. So there's fate, there's mercenaries. Uh, yeah, have a look at the back of my hand. Looked like there were some empty cards. There might have been an empty card for, for a spare in case you lost one, perhaps. Who knows? But the, uh, so there's the. Uh, Cards for mercenaries, and uh, and there's veto. I'm uh, not too sure. As I said, I've not played this game, or I certainly can't recall it. And uh, so you've got all sorts of cards and their effects as to what they are. I have no idea. Can't remember. But very thin. Very thin cards, fairly typical for GW of the day for quality, as in very poor. Um, they uh, weren't, I think, they uh, were keeping their production costs very, very low. And that was obviously, I think, the dice that came with the game. Oh, look, I rolled a six. These are the... I suppose the only decent quality pieces were the uh, were these. The uh, and of course you had to. I think you must have gotten a sheet with plastic. Uh, sorry, with stickers that you had to stick on yourself because that's what they looked like. So they must uh, these. They represented the. Uh, now I'm not going to take them out because, as you can see, very thin card. I can tell you that now. And they represent each of the uh, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six for the six players that can play. 
then you've got um, money, uh, raised locations, game turn markers, so very thin cardboard is all I can say. And then you've got vote counters, again, very thin, very thin indeed. So look, as I said, um, it's in my collection. I honestly can't recall having played this game. I may have, but if I did, I must have only played it once. It hasn't really struck a chord with me. Uh, however, it's sitting in my collection. So look, if you have played it, look, let me know what your thoughts are. So till next time, signing off, the Honourable John.